A tornado tore through Joplin on May 22, 2011, killing 161 people and destroying over 7,000 homes and businesses. On June 17, 2012, 54 senior high youth and 11 adults from St. Luke's went on an eight-day mission trip to Joplin to help with relief for the tornado victims. The most emotional thing has been the tour that Dave gave us. We drove it up around the town and just seeing all the houses that got destroyed and the high school, the hospital that weren't even existing anymore, that has been really emotional and I really got goosebumps. The missionaries found that most of the debris from the tornado had already been cleaned up but the victims of the tornado and others in Joplin still had many needs. I experienced God during this week when I saw everyone coming together and just working together as a team to get stuff done and help out the people of Joplin. And a lot of people didn't really complain about it and just we just got the work done. The missionaries painted, built a shed, cleaned up some properties, broke up a concrete pad, moved dirt to fill in a foundation so that the lot could be sold, painted some more, and moved more dirt. Going on my first senior high mission trip has been an amazing experience. I've never worked so hard or met so many new people and it was definitely interesting to see the wreckage of the tornado and see how it affected people and their lives and just how it changed the whole town and it was amazing to go out of state and be able to discover how you can make a difference even only over a few days. The missionaries helped at a homeless shelter, fixed up a resident's home, and assisted at day camps for needy children. They learned a lot by talking to the adults and children of Joplin. The most emotional experience during the week was when we were hanging out with the little kids and they started playing a game of tornado and they were running around saying tornado, tornado, find shelter and I it's just kind of like shocked me that that's what they play. The most meaningful experience that I've had this week was when some of the kids asked me if I had a mom because that's an average question that they ask. and. It's something that kind of took me by surprise because not many of them have moms. My one lasting memory will be the hope of the people at the homeless shelter. They have nothing anymore and you go and they just talk to you. They want to talk and they're happy. In the evenings, the team conducted devotions to discuss what they had experienced that day. I really grew closer to God and I really enjoy having the devotions every night and talking about the day and stuff and just about God and praying every day. That really helps. I have learned that we really have it really, really nice back in Highlands Ranch and that there are a lot of people out there that need, our, need help really badly, especially when a natural disaster like the tornado just comes rolling on through. The youth also had time for relaxation in the evenings and spent a day at a water park on their way back to Denver. I would recommend other youth go on this trip because it's really eye-opening and it really puts things into perspective compared to what we're used to at home and kind of always realizing that it could be worse and that there's always someone who has a different situation. And I think it really kind of broadens your perspective of 
what's going on compared to what's going on in your own life.